In Perry last night, a new and different celebration took flight. Tom George was there for the fun and brings us more on Bob the Buzzard and his midnight descent. Forget Times Square. It's having I'm a buzzard, buzzard drop. drop. In Perry, Georgia. In Perry, Georgia. Yup, you heard right. Buzzards. You might be a redneck if you drop buzzards. This is something totally different. You never see a buzzard coming down out of the sky. But this majestic bird has gone from town nuisance. As long as they don't fly out in front of my car. To the bird behind Perry's first ever New Year's Eve buzzard drop. Uh, they come every fall to Perry and they roost in this area. We're part of their migratory pattern. And it's usually more of a, a hazard than something to celebrate. But how do you celebrate a buzzard drop? Did you think it was a live buzzard? Uh, yeah, we were wondering what's it. <laughs> we wonder how they gonna drop the buzzard. Any ideas? Uh -huh. Like fly, like fly off or something? <laughs> well, sort of. Anyone else? We wasn't quite sure if they were going to shoot the buzzards or not. <laughs> Maybe not the best idea. If you shoot them, what happens? Throw up. They throw up. <laughs> no, Perry created Bob the Buzzard, perched 30 feet above the ground and made from all recycled materials. Hanging out with his dapper bow tie and top hat, enjoying the music. Before the stroke of midnight, when Bob came all the way down, ringing in 2014. And with more than a thousand people this year, it was awesome. It was actually, to be honest with you, it was better than watching it on television and watching the crystal ball come from New York. The buzzard is here to stay. Right. It's a very tradition. In Perry, Tom George, 13 WMAZ Eyewitness News.